Hello, I'm Herb Howling with the Los Angeles International Fern Society. We hold our meetings the third Friday of the week at the Los Angeles Arboretum in Arcadia at 7 p.m. Today I'm going to discuss the bifurcatum complex. The bifurcatum complex consists of four different species of platyceriums. The platyserium bifurcatum, the Platycerium helii, the Platycerium vicii, and the Platycerium wallinkii. In addition to this, for the bifurcatum complex, should consider some hybrids like the yanid, the diversifolium, the electrifolia, and the magus, and probably many more that have not been recognized with proper names. Today we will show you the characteristics of the four different complex species and show you how to recognize the difference. The Platycerium bifurcatum is thought to be the most common species. The true bifurcatum has very thin fertile fronds. This photo is from Barbara Jo Hoshizaki's collection and is thought to be the closest example we have to the true bifurcatum. The shield fronds have lobes on the top and form catch basins to catch rain and falling debris that decays and provides nourishment for the species. One of the most common cultivars is the Platycerium bifurcatum netherlands. I don't know where the name comes from, but I can assure you they do not grow naturally in the Netherlands. Platyceriums do not tolerate freezing temperatures. You can recognize the Netherlands from the curved tip. I don't know what motivated the cultivar to develop curled tips, but that might be the subject of further study. There are many bifurcatum cultivars considered bifurcatums. Most of them have been accidentally crossbred in nature with other species, and although they are considered bifurcatums, they have evolved to be less of a true bifurcatum. In most cases, they have wider fertile fronds or other unique traits. I think I have a list of about 30 different cultivars that are all considered bifurcatums. One last word on the Platycerium bifurcatum. It is thought that there are so many different cultivars because they propagate freely, they are relatively fast growing, they are trouble free, and they tolerate a wide degree of temperatures from slightly below freezing to well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The next species within the bifurcatum complex is the Platycerium helii. The Platycerium helii has wide fertile fronds when compared to a bifurcatum. Since the helii is found in humid climates, there is less danger from drying out and the helii can afford to have wide fertile fronds, whereas less humid climates tend to favor narrow fertile fronds. Another unique trait of the helii is the shield fronds. They do not, do not form an open catch basin like the bifurcatum, they tend to close up on the top and it's probably evolved from uh, growing in a wetter climate as where it has more rain and it closes the top to limiting the amount of rain and debris falling into the root ball. There are many different cultivars within the Platycerium helii. There's the Platycerium helii jimmy. Platycerium helii blumii, the Platycerium helii hula hands, and you can figure out why they call it the hula hands from the fingers, and there are many more cultivars that we don't have listed here. The third species within the bifurcatum complex is the Platycerium vicii. The Platycerium vicii is similar to the true bifurcatum with long, narrow, fertile fronds. Since the Platycerium vicii is found in dry, arid climates and needs to protect its water stores. However, the Platycerium vicii is considered a medium-sized Platycerium 
and is smaller than a bifurcatum or a helii. One of the unique characteristics of the VGI are the tall, erect, deeply lobed shield fronds. They dry out fast and lose their skin, leaving a skeleton mesh of veins. It is thought this mesh of veins catch the dew that drips down into the root ball, providing moisture during dry periods. The Platycerium vicii is found growing in the arid regions of Australia and is frequently found growing on rocks. The ideal growing environment is in full sun to bring out the white silver color of the fertile fronds. There are fine white hairs on the fronds that give it this color. In shadier growing areas, the white silver color does not appear and they display more green. Within the Platytherium species, there are two common cultivars. The first I like to call a true vicii. It may be a little larger, of the two, and the fertile fronds are narrow like a true bifurcatum. Possibly the shield fronds are taller and the mesh of veins collect more moisture. The true VGI probably comes from a more arid climate than the Platycerium vicii limonii. The second cultivar is the Platycerium vicii limonii. The limonii tends to have wider fertile fronds and is possibly greener than the true vicii. The Platycerium vicii limonii probably likes a more humid and less arid climate than the vicii. The fourth species within the bifurcatum complex is the Platycerium wolinkii. I recently published a video on the Platycerium wolinkii Schofield that you should watch on YouTube but we will summarize the connection to the bifurcatum complex in this video also. The bifurcatum molinchii is somewhat a cross between the bifurcatum and the helii, with some additional traits unique to the molinchii. The platycerium molinchii has deeply lobed shield fronds like a bifurcatum, although the molinchii basket forms a ring around the tree whereas the bifurcatum forms a simple catch basket. The Willinkii is like a Platycerium helii with wide, multi-fingered, fertile fronds. Some fertile fronds have a dozen or more individual fingers. What differentiates the Willinkii fertile fronds is the way the fronds grow out of the bud. Initially, the fertile fronds grow edgewise, or vertical, from the bud, then rotate and turn horizontal as they reach maturity and length. There's another Platycerium species that I question why it is not in the bifurcatum complex. The Platycerium alsicorni appears closely related to the bifurcatum. The Platycerium alsicorni has two versions, or two forms. One is the African form, which tends to be lighter in color, and the shield fronds are smooth. The second is the Madagascar form, which is a darker green and has a waffle-like shield frond similar to the Platycerium madagascarensi. Madagascar is a wetter climate than Africa, and the two different forms represent this difference in rainfall. But for some unreason, no one reason, it's not considered part of the bifurcatum complex. That concludes our video on the bifurcatum complex. I hope I enlightened your knowledge of the wonderful world of platyceriums. If you like this video and you feel it should be made available to other platycerium lovers, please click on the thumbs up button below and YouTube will recommend it to other platycerium lovers. And if you want to be informed of future Platycerium videos, click on the subscribe button and you'll be notified when they are published. In closing, as we say at USC, fight on, fellow Trojans.